here's a video for the Fox Body Door Jam Rust. Uh, everyone has it at some point. Uh, the car I'm working on is a 1990. It's the purple one. Uh, everything was rusted away on it. I ended up getting a parts car to get everything that I need to fix it with. For the most part, you can see, all oh, that's pretty much gone. Yeah, all this is rusted out. Every layer. It was too hard to try and cut it out, cut each piece out, because there's three layers, and then you got the frame. So I chose to take the parts card one out. You can see it gives me all this. What I had was rusted away. That's supposed to be the whole corner of it. I didn't really have any of that. So once you get it out, you just drill all the spot welds, pull out your junk, add your new piece. Same way, take it out by the spot welds. Now this one I got to do the outer skin of it. That's easy. I can just cut it, make another square, uh, do the inner piece once I have this top one out, cut it, make the little squares, weld it together, and be done with it. It's not that bad. It's the easy part. This one's a little bit more rusted. Uh, this, it, obviously the outside piece is already cut off of it. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, but once you cut this top piece out, you can see there's, there's nothing there anymore. So, it should look like this one. and have all the top of it there. But when you compare the two, you can see that most of it is gone. So, I'll cut it along the top, weld in a new piece. You need to have some kind of bracing before you can start cutting anything out. I mean, once you cut the post, I learned this from the Galaxy. It's obviously not good. We're not going to talk about that one. But, do the post. Don't get the cheap, thin steel. I just get the box rail. It needs to be thick because it's going to support it and you need to keep it from moving in any direction. So I have it welded to the floor, outer rocker, inner rocker panel, however you want to look at it. I have it welded there, it's welded at the top. I have a safety rag here because I've already hit my head on it. I need the pieces to do the other side so I don't want to cut them up. And then I have another one welded so it can't go up and it can't go down. This one keeps it from going forwards and backwards. And the other one is welded to the transmission cross member. Uh, not the sheet metal of the floor, but the actual cross member. It's thicker and it'll keep it from moving. And then it's just welded there. I didn't make the welds perfect. This is just temporary. But once you have that in, then you can start taking out the pieces that you need. Uh, once you get the new one, or the old one, fix the old one, however you're going to do it. Do the inside first. Uh, get all your measurements. I have my measurements for my door mounts. And I marked them onto the post. So I can make sure that the outside pieces right it where it needs to be versus too far forward, too far back. Uh, it can't go up and down. It's not optional. So that was my measurements on that. Uh, you need to come up with some reference points depending on where you cut the inside piece. I'm trying to leave as much of this original stuff there as possible. So I'm going to stay up high and then I'll just do this L part of it. You got different sections. This piece forms a little 4 inch, 5 inch little pad on the back side and that stops there. You have the skin that comes down here which will go underneath it. You have the bottom of your cow panel, which forms your cow. So, depending on how far you need to go, you'll just have to cut each section and then build it off of what you have. Uh, some of these curves, it curves down. It would be easier to make one curve out of one piece of sheet metal, do the next one, and then just weld the seam and then grind it down. Obviously, you can't weld it in there. You gotta take it back out. Do all the grinding. At least it's one solid piece. Uh, I'm probably going to end up cutting the cow high. That way I can get as far in as I can. 
be able to cut all the old stuff out and re-weld in the new stuff. So once you have the inside, the outside, then you can do the top of it and build it from there. I have a new piece, or new old piece, and I'll trace it because this still has some rust right there, and then I'll fix that. Then I'll just fill in all the spot welds. But at least it gives you an idea of if you're wanting to get into fixing it, what you're looking at. It's not that hard. I mean, a little time consuming. I think the hardest part is just drilling out all the spot welds because it's a spot weld every inch, an inch and a half. But that's what you're working with. And it's going to be easier to just get a parts car and cut it out and fix a little bit that's on that panel versus trying to make the whole thing. If you look at the back of it, everything just kind of falls apart. And this bracket is only welded on the sides and most of the sheet metal up here is already going to be rusted so you can't just cut out the sheet metal on the outside and think that that's going to stay in place because it's not. My other piece, once I have it welded in the car, I'll start taking it and I'll get down into this piece and I'll fix that and then just work my way up from it. But you have your top part of it that you can start building your sheet metal to do your angles and be able to rebuild the top of it. So this at least gives you an idea for someone who's interested in doing it, what you're looking at once you get into it. And I'll do a second video once I get it pretty much all together and ready to put that top section on there. And I'll show how I did that. That's it.